let's continue so i listened to my younger sister my dad took me to the hospital er they checked my oxygen and all and they said i was okay hmm. i was shocked because i told them i still could not breathe properly so they checked my heart with their EKG art machine. They said I was okay. Then I wondered what was the problem because I still could not breathe properly. Hmm. The doctor said nothing was wrong with me. Hmm. Then she started coming up with wrong advice. Maybe it's anxiety. Hmm. Immediately. I heard God's voice. God said, don't listen to her. It's not anxiety. It is spiritual. Hmm. Then the doctor started saying, maybe I need to see a therapist. Hmm. God said in my mind, don't listen to her. You don't need a therapist. If you need one, I will tell you. See, we need to be careful of all these doctors. They are so quick to say something. I took Subway. And they started thinking, I have mental issue. Really? So she was like, since you are living alone, maybe I'm lonely. Ah. <laughs> God said, don't listen to her. The devil is talking through her. Like what she was saying was so depressing. Lonely, K. I am not alone. We are two living in the house, Holy Spirit and I. So I was rebuking what the doctor was saying. She did not see anything wrong with me. She started saying rubbish. God told me to leave the hospital. I told my dad that I want to leave. I was fine. God revealed to me that this was spiritual. Think about it. Like when I called my dad, my breath was okay. This is spiritual. God wanted me to call my parents and sisters after more than a year. That was what was going on. God wanted me to reunite with my parents and sisters. So as my dad and I left the hospital, I did not know God had a surprise for me. As I entered my dad's car and my dad was taking me to my house, my mom and younger sister were on the phone, you know, it was on speaker. They apologized to me. They said they would not manipulate me again. They will not force me into marriage. They will allow me to follow God's purpose. They have realized their mistakes. What? I was shocked. My parents and younger sister have changed. They are no longer the same people. God has changed them that was the surprise god had for me i was so happy when my dad took me back to my house as he sat down he asked me how, how i was feeling i told him that i was feeling a little better then my dad called my twin sister who was currently out of the country my dad said to her, guess where I am? And my dad said to my twin sister, I'm in Taye's house. Hey, my twin sister was shocked and happy. We spoke together. She has changed. She's no longer forcing me to get married. So as my dad was thinking of going back to work, and as I was drinking water, hmm, I noticed I could not breathe properly again. So I told my dad to drop me off at his house so I could stay with my mom until I felt much better. So my dad took me to his house. I hugged my mom. I mean, it's been more than a year I saw her. She apologized for forcing me to marriage. <laughs> this is a miracle. This is a dream come true. God has restored my family. As I was in my parents' house, I noticed I started to breathe better. This was spiritual. I entered my room in my parents' house. 
it's been more than a year since i entered my parents house so it was so emotional but you know i could not cry because i was trying to breathe better as i entered my room i tried to take a nap hey it was like 10 a.m in the morning friday march 10. remember i did not sleep all day on thursday till friday morning so god helped me to sleep thank god hmm. miracle also when i woke up and i tried to eat after not eating for more than 12 hours because of the calorie issue i felt better hmm. later in the evening my younger sister visited me after work we re we reunited as a family i spent some days with my family i noticed god restored my health god wanted me to see my parents and God used my breath, my health, everything that happened to make me to see them and to let me know that it is okay to keep in touch with my parents and sisters. They are no longer a threat to my ministry and they are no longer forcing me into marriage blessing in disguise hmm. after spending some days with them i went back home glory to god like who would think that god will use sandwich subway to bring me and my family together hmm. god works in diverse ways he has diverse different methods hmm. to restore your family i did not see this coming march 10 god restored my family 10 means completeness in the bible god completed my family so if you are praying to god for this kind of miracle family restoration i pray god will restore you and your family in jesus name amen i did not know god had a surprise for me my parents and sisters had changed seriously god changes people you cannot change people only god can change people pray to god another thing beware of the devil he is real the devil was using my parents and sisters to divert my attention to not focus on god's purpose but on marriage the devil uses family the devil uses everybody beware of the devil expose the lies of the devil Share your testimonies and save others. Do not marry someone that God has not approved you to marry. God knows tomorrow. God knows the man that is good for you. God will bring him to you at his right time. Focus on fulfilling God's purpose. God said, seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing will be added. Godly marriage, degree, money. Don't run after worldly treasures. Run after God's kingdom. God has given you talents and gifts to fulfill his purpose for your life. When you get to heaven, God will ask you, what did you do with the gift and talents I gave you? What will you tell him? I did nothing. I buried it because I was thinking about people, because my parents don't support me. No, no, no. I will tell God. I preached the gospel with his help. I shared my testimonies. I became who he created me to be with the help of the Holy Spirit. I fought the good fight of faith. Amen. Glory to God.